welcome back guys to another episode of American Truck Simulator. I know it's been a while since I've made an episode, but today we're back checking out the, I believe this is the 2018 uh, Volvo uh, VNL 740 cab. Got our cattle trailer, we're gonna go and pick up a load of cattle. And we'll go through uh, some of this truck. I do apologize for the lack uh, of content, just been really busy with life, trying to bounce around some 5M communities, but I have put in an application for EOJRP, got accepted, now I just gotta do the interview, so probably by the time this video is out, I will have probably done the interview. So maybe expect some DOJRP content in the future if I get fully accepted. If not, I might bounce over to a certain a community that a friend of mine's in. And we will go from there. But let's go ahead and jump into America Truck Simulator and check out this 2014-2018 Volvo 740 VNL. So couple things about this truck that I really love I'll probably go through details as we're driving so this truck has 565 horsepower Cummins motor accompanied by a 13 speed transmission usually run 18 but that is probably better when you're running a higher horsepower um, motor Got our beacons our horn And we will get out here and see what we can get into. Let's start her up here. Into first person, there we go. Let's go and find ourselves a load. Um. Let's go ahead. So, down market, cargo market. Here in Fort Stockton, there's not really anything. Um, let's see, Corpus Christi, La Ronda, Texas. Is there anything in Van Horn? No, El Paso, nothing. Junction in San Antonio. I guess I can quick travel over to San Antonio. And we'll do a run from San Antonio down to Brownsville, Texas. Well, let's go ahead and quick travel over here to San Antonio. So I do have in the Mexico mod. Might get taken out if I do decide to do a convoy. Hope you guys can hear me all right. Put that there. Just scoot that forward a little bit. I hope you guys can still hear me. Going to take out this parking brake. Turn my windshield wipers in just a second. Windshield wipers on. Hamler truck dealership discovered. Nice. Rain is a bit loud. Gonna pull out here. Go ahead and go gear sells a cattle job. Why is it having us go up and flip a U-turn already? Guess we'll just follow the GPS, see where it wants us to go. Then go pick up these uh, cows. 
Happy Father's Day to all you guys out there. Hope you're having a wonderful one. It's a bit of a wet one as we start our drive to go pick up these uh, cattle. I love this truck. Like, like this is one of the most uh, advanced trucks in America Truck Simulator. Because you get the... Uh, I don't know what they exactly call the sensors on the truck. I want to say like distance sensors. That'll beep if you get too close to something. But like I was never a fan of Volvo trucks, but after seeing like what ATS did for these trucks, it's like, oh my God. These trucks are awesome though. How much fuel we got? We should be fine. Let's have a truck stop once we uh, load up. Or I can pull in here real quick and fill up. We're going to stop at this uh, Flying J up here. At the American Road Cross trailer there. Go ahead. Pull in here just like so. We'll just top off the fuel tank. So there's what I was talking about. So that sensor is going to go off for a minute. I do apologize for that. Go and put in that parking brake. We'll just back up here. Because I can't exactly pull in, so we're just flipping Yui out of here. So that is the sensor that goes off when you're too close to something. Alright, let's go ahead and back out here on the road. I don't hit anything with my trailer there we go so we are currently in San Antonio Texas and be heading up to pick up a load of cattle and going down to Brownsville do have my steering wheel hooked up um, the, I think it's the PXN 900 the hundred dollar wheel it's good for when you if you're starting out and you don't want uh, anything too expensive. But I love the wheel, it's really nice. I still got mainly use it for America Truck Simulator. I still haven't really tried on Beam and G Drive or Forza Horizon 5 or on a dirt. I think it stopped raining. Go ahead and turn that off. Go and go over here into this lane. I still don't have my left blinker set up, but it's all right. We don't really need it though. But I love this uh, truck. It's a nice little truck. Go and go over here, pick up the trailer. But SCS has done a really good job with um, with the state of Texas. I'm looking forward to getting Oklahoma when it releases, which should be soon. So there will be a video, video this time out on Oklahoma when it releases or whenever I get it. Um, that'll be something to look forward to. Um, Still trying to fight with LSPFR to get it working. It'll work most of the time and then it will crash. I don't know if it's a plug that I put in or what. But I'm going to keep fighting with that. But I will try to put on an LSPDFR video out in the upcoming days. 
along with trying to do my interview for uh, Department of Justice role play. So there might be, there probably will be content coming out once I get high enough through the Civ ranks. So I'll probably spend most time on DOJ recording in the background, just making some episodes. So that when I get up to the Civ rank, you guys can see everything from when I first started. Because I will record for like confidence reasons. Not for confidence reasons, for um, just, well, say if something happens, there's proof that it happened. So then I don't get in trouble in the person who may mess up. I get spoken to, but there will be a, hopefully I can make some DOJ roleplay videos. If not, I might join up with Immersion Roleplay with uh, Mr. Brandino93, hell yeah. So what I might do is join DOJ as a civilian. And then I might do immersion as LEO, maybe like BCSO or Highway Patrol. I haven't decided fully if I want to join. I've been trying to bounce between communities. You've seen like I made like one video of a community named Okaloosa Roleplay. I kind of left that community. Not saying anything bad, but just dual clearing policy didn't really make any sense to me. So, if anyone has any suggestions of a smaller roleplay server I could join, that I could make videos of, feel free to leave comments down below. And, I'm still, like, learning how to dev on 5M. So I have another one that I'm looking to maybe help out in. Right now, Cold Soul, I got banned out. Cold Soul over, a, over something pretty stupid. I'm not going to go into detail about that. But that's happened like two weeks ago, I would say. So I'm not worried about it. I'm just looking forward to finally fulfilling my dream of joining DOJ roleplay because I have been watching videos of that since like I want to say 2000, 2015 or uh, no actually no I take that back actually 20 I think late 2016 to present day back when Polecat was in that community community before he got kicked out for something that he did and it was pretty understandable but that's all in the past and we can just look forward to what we do now but yeah so enough on the 5m hope you guys I do apologize as I said I do apologize for the Lack of content, been busy with life, trying to balance out um, evenings where I could record. So, probably starting being this week, I'll be spending, I think, Monday nights recording. So, today is Father's Day, um, June 18, 2023, is when this ATS episode is being recorded. So, I might start doing some retro games, play like a Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. So, episode one, you might have seen, I think I might have done a slight ups, another episode where um, I did the uh, repairing DeLoreans because those are like my favorite car and my dream car. So I think I might have done an episode on that, but I'm going to continue to do episodes of Car Mechanic Simulator. I do appreciate your guys' questions on um, Twisted on Roblox. I 
like I wish I could answer that question a lot better about Dorothy being in the back of the truck. I guess when it first came in the game That's When the Dorothy was in the back of the truck and I guess They made it to where now that probe is no longer in the back of that ram and that kind of sucks But I'm also still deciding whether or not I want to go back in the Roblox development and make my own tornado chasing game. It would take a very long time to get up and running unless I had a team of people who knows how to make like that type of game. Like I don't want to like how twisted it is with the cars that kind of look real. But like I want to be able to have it to where you can do like have like those normal trucks and cars but also be able to have vehicles with like emergency lighting or something kind of like a role play aspect or I might open up my own Roblox role play community again if you guys want to see that I might do development development streams that's what I might end up doing and having my um, managers join up with me on Roblox I think there was a map I was working on back then where do I want to oh that's not what I want I want cargo market um, Brownsville, Houston, Houston. Or we can go up to Dallas. Where's Dallas? We'll just go down to Brownsville. Alright, let's go ahead and go pick up this uh, trailer. I think, I mean, I want to continue doing 5M, but at the same time, 5M is so hard to do nowadays. Because there are like people who want to do their own 5M community. But then they just don't understand how to um, run one. Alright, so I gotta flip around. That's not a problem. See if I can get past this, uh... What is going on here? Oh, that's new. Let's see if I can reverse the track. That didn't take a second because I haven't backed up in a while. Uh, do apologize to that track for uh, smacking it. Taking a little bit longer than I expected, but and drive forward here. I like the fact that it's kind of like a dirt lot. Let's go ahead and turn, because I couldn't even see where the loading dock is. So it's
bring this truck a little bit forward. And then we'll bring it back. There you go. That's a really hard position. Because you got angle. Because you got angle the tractor. If that car wasn't. That's a hard spot to get into. Let me see if I can pull forward just a little bit. Gonna pull forward just a little. Easy. Ah, shoot. My mirror's gonna just clip through. That's a very hard spot to get into. How do I do this without wrecking the truck? This has been a little while since I've done this. How much room do I have? This is taking a little bit longer than usual, but practice makes perfect, right? Alright. Let's see, um, we're going back up. Let's just try this again, because that's really hard. Let's go ahead and slowly back up. Come on, there we go. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead. No, it's not. We're trying five more minutes to straighten out the trailer. It's already wasted like 10 trying to back it in. Alright, let's go forward. 
We'll turn those off as soon as we get out of here. Go ahead and turn that off. And we are ready to roll out. We'll fix the truck after this run. Only 2% damage on the trailer. No one coming down the dirt road, so I don't have to worry about looking. But no actuality, if there was someone, I would look. Alrighty. I really do love this fall, though. Got that Texas County Mountie out here. I'm excited for update um, 1.48. Is they add in Texarkana? Which would be awesome. Um, let me turn off that HUD. Is that, look, that's actually something new that I put in. So let's see. Uh, he's the only one coming. So let's go ahead and get out here on this road. And there we go. We are rolling. After struggling to try to get that trailer backed up, but it was close enough. But I will need more. I'm still trying to learn how to back up using a steering wheel. Because I used to be good at it when I, I was good at it when I used a controller. But a steering wheel is a whole new ball game. Speed limit 75 on this road? I do not think so, sir. Especially when it's 45. Coming into town. So, I'll probably expect more American Truck Simulator episodes. Um. I do plan on maybe doing a doing another series where it's a convoy series with um, me and Airborne Reaper Gaming or my friend with my friend Airborne Reaper and there will probably be a whole nother series that those episodes might be an, either be live streamed or recorded or they might be an hour or two hours long I don't really know how to edit but, or like convoys will just be live streams. I'm still deciding if I want to go that route, but me and him do make some funny uh, jokes. So, still deciding if I want to do another American Truck Simulator series for our convoys. But if you guys do like these uh, videos, uh, feel free to leave a comment like would love to try to get my subscriber count up to 200 Like I know some of you guys come over for the 5m content YouTube or the Roblox content, but hopefully like I can get more of that coming in the future Just trying to find a matter of time between um being out of the house from 8 to 3. So, we'll probably start hopefully recording more. And, um, yeah. Hopefully recording more, getting more of these episodes coming out for you guys. For you guys to enjoy we're just gonna go ahead and turn that back on because I can't really see the console the middle part of the truck when I'm driving but I hope you guys and I hope you guys can hear me or I'm just talking low because we gotta someone sleeping so I do apologize for the low volume if you but yeah, expect more episodes of this to come out along with I'm thinking about doing a new Beam and G Drive series called Driven Till 
death it'll be like um if you guys know the youtuber fail race he does um a series on bmg called driving till destruction for which my series is just gonna go through some of this normal bmg drive vehicles and see how long they um survive on the um driven till destruction course and that is free to the public now so we'll probably do an episode on that in the upcoming days hopefully i can get ls pfr to quit crashing or that i can record an episode of that because i want to showcase a brand new vehicle that i personally i love it i want to do that um, i'm trying to decide whether or not i want to do like more gta 5 content than just 5m but if you guys have any suggestions i like one idea i was thinking of doing was maybe starting a series of gta 5 racing like get a group together who just loves to do gta 5 racing because i kind of want to do like my own series kind of like how fell race does his uh survive the hunt challenges and stuff like that is what i would love to do for gta 5 content but it's just a matter of being people who love to do that type of thing i know gta 5 it's over 10 years old and not many people play it anymore but i would love just to play gta online just for gta 5 racing it might start out as just doing racing with random people it means cleaning out lspdfr out my main file directory if i can't get it to work LS PDFR is just gonna be scrapped. Because it is a pain in the butt to do. Because anytime I put in a new call out or something, it just crashes to where I just have to go back to the stock call out. So that might get completely scrapped. And we'll just do um some stuff on GT Online. Or, I can, or if you guys want me to, I can start um, a GTA Online series of like doing missions and stuff. Let me know what you guys want, um, want to see. And feel free to join my Discord. I think it's in my YouTube uh, channel profile. If not, I will put it in there and yeah we will be i'm still deciding why i want to do because i want to create more content for you guys just a matter of finding out what do i want to do or what do you guys want to see because i want to see my youtube channel grow than it just being um being like 193 subscribers like I get one subscriber and then that person unsubscribes just because like I make like one video and then I, something in my life happens and then they unsubscribe it's like you gotta give the person time to create the content I hope you guys are enjoying this episode though so far.
this is actually what I'm thinking. I know you guys, like, when I do 5M, you guys enjoy, like, you watch people who have graphics mod just because their game looks better. Just for me, this is what I'm thinking. If I go back to doing 5M videos, I'm just gonna do a visual data file for 5M that makes my police lights shine. That is my idea. Because, like, in my opinion, it's like, you guys dislike people who don't use graphics mods. But you gotta also realize that some people... I'm going to get my headlights on. Here we go. I'm going to shaft for a little bit. talking that loud either. I'm at a very low volume than I usually am at. Um Alright guys, yeah, sorry about that. I don't know if he can still hear me or not, but... We're gonna go ahead and finish this drive. I'm gonna just be quiet for this last little bit of the drive. So you guys can listen to this truck. And I will see you guys at the end of the video.
Alright, let's finish this run. I need to stop. I don't think so. God damn it. because it doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's go on pulling here. Why do you tell me that my truck's not in good condition because it has like a little dent in it? I'm just gonna pull in here. There's no icon there, so that didn't really make any sense for me to stop. Was there an icon? No, there was not. That that's just weird. Alright. I'm gonna go for them. Come over. I'm coming over. Thank you. God almighty. These AIs sometimes are the worst. I know I have slightly a little bit of damage to my truck. That's alright. Go get fixed after this uh, trailer drop off. Go ahead and finish up this ride. No. Might do a more cattle run videos just for a time being. But I do apologize for the low uh, voice volume though in this for this one. Going. I'm going to go ahead and get over into the right lane here. There we go. Man, that car is hauling. This is a nice little drive though. Nice short run. Probably start doing more short run videos like this one. And do like long runs for live streams. That's what we might end up doing here for these. Go ahead and finish this run. I didn't get going. Getting good. Sid J. That's a. I don't even know what that sign said. Oh, I might say it up here. What does this say? Sid Jones Road. Huh. That's an interesting road name. I want to know how they come up with like road names.
Burrow. Yeah, well, let's keep on trucking and finish this. Make Allen one mile. Hmm. This is actually a nice little drive down this side of Texas. Still gonna feel like I got 214 out of 275. McAllen is that way. I am not going to McAllen. I am going to Brownsville, Texas. See if I can get back in the trailer first try. Or it might take a little bit longer. Uh, Texas is actually getting a new update. Uh, I think I started to go into it. I'm excited for it. Customer expects you to deliver it very soon. Make sure you arrive on time. Well, I am 18 miles out. Come on. I didn't expect this to be like done so soon. All right, we are in Brownsville. Come on. Go ahead and get this load delivered. Because now it's crunch time. Oh, come on. These red lights are slowing me down. I think it's between 12 and 2, so we're good. Come on. Go. We're five miles out. Come on, baby. We gotta get this delivery dropped off. It is crunch time. Come on, let's go. I gotta get past all these cars. turn here. Come on. Oh, the lights are in my favor now. I am so happy that that light changed when it did. In that corner very wide. Come on. Work on that. 
long as the cows aren't injured, we are should be fine. Come on, baby. And keep on grinding. I think they're getting onto that ship there. This trailer dropped off. There we go, guys. If you guys enjoy this episode of American Truck Simulator, there you go. If you guys enjoyed this one, I enjoyed recording it for you guys. So, if you guys enjoy this, please leave a like on this i will see you guys in the next video have a happy father's day guys